Wireless microphones provide singers, performers and presenters with the freedom to perform without being tied down by cables. But uh, this benefit has historically come at the cost of compromised audio quality, radio interferences and setup complexity. Now, for over 50 years, analog FM radio technology has been the dominant approach used for wireless microphones. But now, digital wireless promises to usher in an era of uncompromised, problem-free performance. The goal of this video is to provide insight into the differences, both between the traditional analog wireless and the digital wireless technology. We will be looking at important factors uh, such as the dynamic range, diversity, channel selection, latency, as well as circumstances that can cause interferences. Dynamic range is defined as the loudness difference in decibels between the softest and the loudest signals possible in a system. The minimum for high quality audio is considered about 100 decibels. The typical dynamic range of an unprocessed audio signal transmitted via FM is about 50 decibels. Analog wireless systems must use compenders in order to fit the audio signal's dynamic range inside the system's limited bandwidth. Compending is the compressing and expanding of the audio signal. Now, side effects of compending may include a uh, muffled sound and uh, obscured harmonics. And gain changes can become audible, creating a sound often called breathing. Typical FM transmitters will also include a limiter to prevent overload conditions of the audio signal. The dynamic range in analog systems is further reduced due to a technique called pre-emphasis, de-emphasis. Now, this method is used to improve the signal-to-noise ratio during transmission. Digital wireless systems, such as the Line 6 XDV digital wireless systems, are able to transmit the digital audio signal without any compression, any limiting or pre-emphasis and de-emphasis. The XDV system has a frequency response of 10 Hz to 20 kHz and can also accommodate a wider input dynamic range of over 115 decibels, eliminating the need for level controls. The result is that the input signal is accurately reproduced at the receiving end. The term true diversity is often used to describe a feature of many analog wireless systems that utilize two antennas and two receiver circuits. When the signal at one antenna is weak, the signal at the other antenna may not be as affected. The wireless system then selects the audio signal from the receiver that has the stronger signal. Digital systems use a similar approach to this type of diversity, also known as spatial diversity. Two antennas and two receiver circuits are used. But instead of switching the audio, the digital data from both receivers is compared. And the one with the fewest errors detected is used. The Line 6 XDV systems utilize four different RF frequencies that are transmitted for each single audio channel. And only if there are errors or loss of signal on all four RF frequencies within a single transmission packet will an XDV system mute. The result of the spatial diversity, frequency diversity and data coding properties of digital wireless is that the only audio that will ever be passed through the receiver is the intended audio from the transmitter. When using a conventional analog wireless microphone system, many steps must be taken before it is ready to use. First, it's necessary to find a free operating channel. Now, this may include a visit to the wireless frequency finder on the company's website. It sometimes requires entering the location zip code, state or other information for it to find and recommend an open channel that's usable. Since most affordable devices do not display frequency in megahertz, it is necessary to refer to these tools in order to know which group or channel is an appropriate choice for the area. Some models provide a scan function that will select a frequency that is available for wireless use, 
Now, this can be very helpful in selecting a channel, presuming that the device's frequency range does not extend into areas occupied by local TV stations. Additionally, channel selection needs to be considered anytime the device is going to be used in a different location, due to the variations in FM channel usage throughout different cities and countries. Digital wireless systems operating in the 2.4 GHz ISM band, such as the Line 6 XTV systems, avoid interference from local TV and radio stations. And unlike conventional wireless microphone systems, there is no need to worry about government restrictions on bandwidth. Plus, XTV systems operate license-free worldwide, from Hollywood to Tokyo, so to speak. Now, setting up the XTV system is a one-step setup process. Simply match the channel number on the transmitter and the receiver, and the system is ready to use in seconds. Anyone familiar with a traditional FM radio has experienced many types of interference artifacts. When two radio stations are close together in frequency, it is sometimes possible to hear a combination of both at the same time. Or when manually tuning a radio to a frequency that is not broadcasting, noise can be heard. In analog wireless microphones, any interference that causes audio artifacts can disrupt a performance. One way that analog wireless attempts to reduce interference that causes audio artifacts is the use of a pilot tone and a squelch circuit. The squelch circuit's main purpose is to mute the audio output when the transmitter signal is not being received. A common method is to have the transmitter always transmit a pilot tone along with the audio. This tone is usually at a very high audio frequency and is filtered out before the audio is output from the receiver. If the receiver does not see the pilot tone at the expected level, then the squelch circuit is turned on to mute the audio. Since modulated tones can be created due to interferences, spurious audio is still able to pass through the system in certain circumstances. Digital wireless microphones rely on data being correct and that is a zero is always a zero and a one is always a one. Noise or interferences on the signal will not have an impact unless it is significant enough to make the data unreadable. When an analog audio signal has noise or interference, the result becomes audible because it is combined with the audio waveform. When a digital signal has noise or interference, up to a certain level, the data can still be properly interpreted as ones and zeros without any alteration in the audio. The low and the high signals, that's the zeros and the ones, can still be read without any audible artifacts. However, significant radio interference can impact a digital receiver's ability to correctly interpret the zeros and ones. But digital has advantages of being able to include additional information to help the receiver know if the data is correct. This is called error detection and is commonly used in most digital storage or communication systems. These types of techniques are used on CDs and DVDs and explain why a disc can have a significant scratch and still play without any errors. Additionally, digital systems can encode their data so that other digital signals in the same band cannot be misinterpreted as the intended data. The only data that will be read is the data intended for that receiver. Line 6 digital wireless microphone systems operate in the ISM bands. Now, these bands do not require a license and are free from high-powered interference such as broadcast TV. They do, however, have to coexist with other users of these bands. In the 2.4 GHz range, this typically includes Wi-Fi and Bluetooth communication. Now, one of the most frequently asked questions is on compatibility and possible interference with these devices. Let's look at that in more detail. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth use frequencies in different manners. Bluetooth uses a technology called frequency hopping spread spectrum that divides transmitted data into packets and transmits each packet on one of 79 designated Bluetooth channels. In general, Line 6 wireless can easily coexist with Bluetooth. 
as each channel has only a bandwidth of 1 MHz and usually performs 1600 hops per second. As each Wi-Fi channel uses 20 MHz bandwidth in a much more stable manner, Line 6 had carefully chosen frequencies for each of its wireless system channels. Since each Wi-Fi channel is spaced at 5 MHz, adjacent Wi-Fi channels with 20 MHz bandwidth are overlapped and interfere with each other by nature. To minimize this issue, Wi-Fi routers in the market mostly default to channels 1, 6 or 11. Line 6 channels use two frequencies, less than 1 MHz of bandwidth each, and they are compatible with each other and chosen to work within an environment where Wi-Fi is running. If, for example, only one Wi-Fi channel is used at the location, more Line 6 channels can be used. If no active Wi-Fi is present, you can use all 14 channels. By its very nature, a digital microphone system has to convert the incoming audio signal into a digital one using analog to digital converters or AD converters. It then transmits the digital signal to the receiver where a digital to analog converter, or you guessed it, a DA converter, translates it back into the original analog signal. This process takes some time and the resulting delay is referred to as latency and is measured in milliseconds. High latency greatly affects how usable and enjoyable a digital system is, as you will start to feel the effect of the delayed signal, and that's usually around 15 milliseconds or more. The XDV systems have an industry-leading latency of 2.9 milliseconds, which is an amount so small you can't feel it. As we've seen, Line 6's digital technology brings a number of advantages to the world of wireless microphones. By overcoming the limitations of analog systems, wireless can now be used with all the reliability, ease and sonic benefits of a cabled microphone. To sum it up, the digital benefits are simple setup and use, no interference from broadcast TV, no frequency coordination per location, no license required, no squelch circuitry, no pre-emphasis, de-emphasis, no compounding, no limiting, no gain adjustment required. We have over 115 decibel of dynamic range, 10 Hz to 20 kHz of frequency response and the audio quality is unaffected by RF interference. Make sure to watch the next video to learn more about the unique microphone modeling technology used in the Line 6 XDV digital wireless systems. Thank you for watching and cheers.